You're listening to IRN, the Inception Radio Network, Chicago, Illinois. You're listening to IRN, 2014 Border Zone, International UFO Conference. We have something unscheduled, impromptu, and sometimes that's the best kind of thing. We're going to have a special musical performance from some of the performers who are going to be at the uh, music festival after we're done here. We've got a gentleman who um, will be here to perform named David Shane, who has done, uh, he surprised us a couple of years ago. He came and did a song about the Marfa Lights, and we were just thrilled. Um, and we've also got John Hogan and Maria Moss, two very talented musicians who play together. So, in, and they're finishing up their, tuning up their instruments, and they'll be here momentarily. In the meantime, Brad is going to give us some pointers on tonight's activities and a few other things that only the men in black are privy to. Right, Brian? Absolutely, Noe. This is a pointer. No. Uh, anyway, hey, I, it's been a great day in Presidio, and uh, I'd like to thank all of our speakers that's been here, and I'd like to thank the participants, and thank you for uh, enduring through the, uh, the blackout on the air conditioning so that our listeners out there in Radio Land wouldn't have to listen to the, the hiss. But uh, we've got a, the inter- internationally famous David Shane Duke slipping into the door. Yeah, and uh, this is, uh, is this your third appearance or, it is your third appearance. He's been here every year and he has come from parts unknown all over the United States. So uh, watch for David Shane Duke. You never know where he's going to turn up next, but uh, you're in for a real treat. Welcome, my friend. It's good seeing you. God bless you. God bless you. It's good to see you. Evie's going to accompany you. Is the best backup singer I've ever had. <clears throat> We're here for really interesting things, and so there's a lot of interesting things happening in the world and the universe. And so I honor and cherish that. But and I have my beliefs, and I'm sure as we all do, uh, you know when you know. And so I was in Marfa. And I saw the light. Well, I saw the light. I saw the light. Down in Marfa, Texas. It was shining bright. Might have been a UFO. It flew right out of sight. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I wandered the big bend so aimlessly. I was hoping that I would see. It happened late the other night. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Yeah, I saw the light, I saw the light Down in Marfa, Texas, it was shining bright It might have been even given his UFO, I don't know, it flew out of sight Praise the Lord, I saw the light I swear I wasn't drinking It was late the other night down in Marfa, Texas, I saw the light, and I knew that it was not a satellite. Praise the Lord, I saw the light, yeah, I saw the light, I saw the light down in Marfa, Texas, it was shining bright. Might have been a UFO, I don't know, it flew out of sight. And I praise the Lord that 
I saw the light. No, thank y'all. It's a true story. It's a true story. Uh, it's really awesome to have something like this going on. Uh, a lot of people think you're crazy if you see the light. Uh, well, there's things that are unexplained, and that's why they call them UFOs, unidentified. So there's things that happen. And uh, I honor and cherish uh, the powers that be, men in black or whoever or whatever, deal with these things because we need to deal with them. And uh, Werner Von Braun uh, got brought over to Huntsville, Alabama, so that we could get to the moon because we're not going to let nobody else do it. We're going to rule the universe. And that's America, and that's somebody got to be the good guy at some point. We don't want the bad ones, and so we want the good aliens like Evie. He's a good guy. And, uh, I, you know, I do. I do uh, know that uh, we got a space program, and uh, there's certain things that I believe. And... Uh, I know. So nobody can tell me any different. I got faith. I believe in God, too. And so we all have our beliefs, and I honor and cherish everybody's belief. And so we ain't crazy. It's a real deal. So we also have music going on, and that's a universal language. I think they've got cooler iPhones and CD players and the UFOs, and they listen. And it sounds and frequencies and vibrations. And so we're going to play some music down the hill uh, later tonight. We've got some bands that are coming. And uh, I hope that y'all can come uh, when this is over. I know Nick Pope is in the house, and uh, he's going to do a speech. And then I think music's going to start, and it'd be great to have y'all. We've also got a couple of other uh, musicians in the house. Uh, we've got John Hogan and Maria Moss. And they are exceptional uh, folk scorchers from another planet. And accompanying them is Mr. Doc Jalapeno Schwartz on the harmonica. And they flew in on a UFO silver just moments ago. And they're going to play something for y'all, too. And I hope y'all enjoy it. And God bless all of you. Thanks for coming. And we'll see you next year down the hill. How about one more round of applause for Mr. David Mr. Shane David Duke, Duke right there? This is a song by a fellow named uh, uh, James McMurtry that we love. Uh, we've, we played this song in the Ter Terlingua Ghost Town, and uh, uh, JP was playing with us on, on that for that video. It's on YouTube.
sunset a long way away Cutting across the horizon at the edge of the day And he calls out to me John, come fly away But I've been too long in the wasteland Too long in the wasteland I believe that I'll have to stay oh, You can hear the trucks on the highway I'm ticking over clocks in the mailbox, bullet holes in the mailbox, keyholes in my mind, hey, yeah, I've been too long in the wasteland, too long in the wasteland and falling behind, I've been too long in the wasteland, too long in the wasteland, don't you go some door. Thank you so much. We don't know how we got here. We just moved to Marfa. This is our first time in Presidio. We play music out here all over the Big Bend, and we're going to be playing tonight in uh, just down the hill at Due to the Dead. I hope you come down and see us. What do you want to do? <laughs> we might play one more song for you if there's enough time. I don't know if that's okay. Whatever you, whatever you, whatever's all right. What do you want to do? It's a song I wrote called "In Dreams I Go Back Home." Uh, Wrote it for Miss Maria Moss here. The words of every, in every alien's heart, in every visitor's heart, in dreams I go back home. There <laughs> <laughs> we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. goes sliding down the hillside and the moon comes shining through the trees as these shadows gather round as I lay this body down there's only one place that I long to be in dreams I go back to my home and in dreams in dreams I go back to my home I can still hear the whippoorwills call softly on the breeze When in dreams I go back home Still stands and the flowers still bloom. No mark or hint of sadness or of loss. In dreams, when I return home, I'm comforted there. The angels remind me, go alone, I'm not lost. In dreams, I go back to my home. And in dreams, in dreams, I go back to my home. I can still hear the whippoorwills call softly on the breeze. But in dreams, I go back home. I can still hear the whippoorwills call softly on the breeze. But in dreams, I go back home. Thank you so much. Jack Cactus on the harmonica, Maria Moss on the guitar, I'm John Hogan, thank you very much.
<laughs> that was totally awesome. Uh, right now, I'd like to call up our mayor, John Ferguson. I saw him here just a minute ago. John? Do what? He got abducted. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, I guess you notice we're not using those wireless mics. There's a real good story about a guy that wore one of those to the restroom. He forgot to turn it off, and everybody's listening to the running water. It was pretty funny. So, anyway, uh, but to recap, uh, what, what are fine musicians? You can see a fine sampling. Okay, the mayor's coming, uh, and the mayor has uh, bands, and he will be there as well. Come on up, John. Uh, Mayor John Ferguson, the Honorable Mayor John Ferguson, truly is. He lives up to that name. But anyway, the, the uh, Due to the Dead will kick off at about 5.30 on, right on baseball field number two right down here. We are happy to say that in our coexistence that this uh, the, the mayor took it to the city council and it is now an official city event and will be part of the UFO festival for years to come. Mayor John Ferguson. Thank you very much, and uh, again, thank you for for making the trip, the long trip to Presidio. I'm just kind of curious, uh, do we, who came from out of state to attend our, our event this year? Okay, <laughs> of course. All right. Well, uh, again, we we really appreciate you you uh, prioritizing coming out to to this uh, Border Zone UFO Festival uh, for next year. Uh, I hope that we can make it as good and hopefully even better uh, a Brad, uh, an idea that I ran by Brad uh, just just kind of just suggest was maybe we should we should try for the future to actually make a trip out to Koyami make a you know maybe tour some kind of a small bus or something and actually get out uh, has it, how many of you have been to Koyami which is about an hour in New Mexico what do you think of that idea would you if, if, if possible would you like to do something like that I think it'd be really cool to actually, because this, the the whole festival here kind of has its roots in the Koyami incident. So maybe next year we can shoot for that. So um, anyway, uh, I, I also want to just congratulate Brad Newton on the work that he does. Obviously, uh, yeah. Brad fits in perfectly here in Presidio. He's, you know, he's he's got his his little passions and things like that. And, and to to live in a place like Presidio or out here in the in West Texas in the Big Bend, it takes a special kind of person. And, and so, like I said, he's really fit in well here, and he brings so many creative ideas and, and his energy to the table. So we're very fortunate to have him. And so, so Brad, congratulations on your festival this year. <laughs> <laughs> and I apologize for not wearing my tuxedo, but we are down the hill kind of getting ready for the Do the Dead uh, music festival coming up. And we want to invite you, if you've got the time, to stop by. I think you'll really enjoy it. It's going to be kind of the first of its kind here in Presidio in that uh, we've had festivals in the past and, and, and things of that nature. But this year with the Do the Dead festival, it, it's a festival that's gone on for about five years. And so we're bringing that festival into Presidio, and then we're combining some of our local talent, which I think you'll be pretty impressed with. So it'll be a kind of a real interesting blend of local music as well as uh, we've got the, the Doolin Hogwallis from Alpine, which you may or may not have heard of, but they're a really great uh, country honky-tonk type band. Uh, David's going to sing for you. I, th I think it is Jan Hogan going to sing again? I, I didn't see her on the... Uh yeah, the, the lady was just singing here. She's gonna, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know she was gonna join us, but that's awesome. So there's gonna be a real mix. My son, uh, his name is Maxwell Ferguson, is a DJ, and uh, he has quite a, a neat. Uh, he's a DJ producer, and so he has like a little costume he puts on. And so it might be worth uh, you hanging around to check that out as well. So uh, once again, thank you so much for coming to our fair community, and you're always welcome back. And next year, hopefully, we can do it again and even make it a little bit better. So thank you. You're listening to IRN, 2014 Border Zone International UFO Conference.